What's up, y'all? Jeff Dobson, J. Richard Photography, back with another behind-the-scenes video. Um, this one I think you'll really like. Um, I did hybrid coverage on this wedding. So what that means is it was just me. We're back out at Pretty Place, and I photoed and photographed and shot a video for uh, Victoria and Joshua. Um, something that I offer, something you should highly consider learning how to do is shoot a highlight film while you photograph your weddings to add that to your packages just bumps you know just a few hundred extra dollars every package by adding that that video it can <clears throat> and it's perfect for uh you know if you have couples that maybe want a video but don't want to hire the full videography team because they don't want all the people running around or maybe they want a video but can't afford a full videography team this is the perfect place that you can step in with this product so um, behind the scenes you're going to see how i photo and video the wedding stick around to the end i'm going to show you how the video turned out i thought it turned out really cool um and of course i'll be walking you through what was going on during uh during the day so uh anyway while you're enjoying this slide down hit a uh, hit a like if you learned something through this and then uh of course i'd love for you to subscribe to the to the channel for uh more videos behind the scenes videos tips tutorials for uh wedding photography so anyway let's uh let's jump on in All right, so uh, yeah, back at Pretty Place, um, very uh, popular spot that I photograph obviously a ton at, and I promise I have some behind the scenes videos coming from other videos, That's what we call um, so you'll get to see some sis. more. But um, they're all everybody sis. Just doing the usual thing here with, um, you know, getting this, uh, you know, photographs of the scene. It was a perfect day, slightly over, you know, a few good clouds, um, a little bit of overcast coming and going, um, makes just for the most perfect day. Um, I think I've told you this before, but Pretty Place, as pretty as it is, is yeah. a challenging lighting setup um, because it is extremely backlit, even when it's overcast, because everything under the cover is obviously dark and shade. And then yeah, it's, go. so it's definitely brighter behind everything the whole time. So um, brought Joshua out, go ahead and get a picture of the groom here. Um, you know, just, I always oh, like to get the photographs yeah. that make the groom look super no, cool. The bride cherishes those. The groom likes those. <clears throat> and then, uh, then and really fill out the album well. we'll probably there I was now. actually videoing him. Uh, so, you know, you're he taking pictures. And then on the EOS R, you can um, um, you save your settings the right to the video button. So you just good, button, so you can be shooting, and then hit, as soon Stay as you hit the record button, it yeah, jumps yeah. right in okay. uh, to whatever you've mapped to C3 okay. yeah. um, um, in video settings, which is really cool. Um, and one thing, a tip for that is 60 frames per second um, is what I shoot at. Um, I go ahead and set the shutter speed yeah, no, you know, yep. to Ooh, one. Yeah, right. uh, 125th which is double um, and then I kind of crank the ISO and I will crank the shutter I know that's against the rules technically for video but don't worry about that um, it's not a big deal especially because it's such short clips on a highlight film nobody's gonna really notice um, so you know we're just looking to slow it down anyway here we're into the <coughs> room where the bride gets ready another pretty challenging spot um, it's surrounded in mirrors so you got to get your angles right so that you're not in every picture and then it's just can lights like overhead just can lights in the room those little bitty windows don't give a whole lot of light so um, you do have to pop a little flash in the room from time to time um, or flip over to like a 85 one eight something with a real shallow depth of field to let some more line in. <laughs> that's what I've done here is just flip to the to the 85 uh, just to let in as much light as possible but again working with can lights in a small room is, is always going to be a challenge. So cute. So cute. It might be a little crooked. Where do you want those flowers? I bought that one. No. Are you loosening? 
<clears throat> now we're getting a few detail shots of the dress. Um, another wedding where there wasn't, you know, a, a ton of details. Um, I've said this before. Typically, these weddings at Pretty Place are more elopement, small wedding type, short wedding days. Um, so there's not a usually a whole lot of details that go into it. Um, they had a few, which was nice, but um, usually it, it's kept pretty simplistic. That was their son getting ready. He was a lot of fun. He came on their engagement shoot. We had so so much fun. We we had a lot of laughs. He he he's a funny dude. Here getting some video of her her veil. She custom made her veil herself, um, and so got some video of it. Now photographing it. And, and that's the key to these highlight films. It's just all day you're out and back um, between shooting video and then getting the photographs. Um, I will say I lead everything. <coughs> excuse me. I lead everything with photography. So when she's coming down the aisle, um, I lead with photography and then flip and get some video footage of it. Um, because we're slowing it down, you know, um, you know, you don't need a ton of uh, time um, of coverage. You know, if you can just slow it down to where you get one or two seconds of slow motion walking, that's, that's all you need. Here we get Joshua and his son getting some portraits of them together. Always important to remember the hierarchy of, of you know, pe importance of people that are at the wedding. No one is typically, I would say, ever more important than their nice. kids if they have kids together. You want to include them in as many frames as possible, um, especially um, throughout the wedding day, just because there is such an emotional attachment here. Here, this is the groom's brother um, getting dressed. There was no wedding party, so there was no like best man or anything. So um, his brother wanted to pin his boutonniere on him. So uh, got that for him. All right. And now we're getting. Um, now I'm getting them set up. For the first you, look here, one of my favorite things is yeah. setting up a first look before the wedding. I've talked about it before. I think it, the ease it adds to creating the timeline on the day gives you just so much more time, and I, I highly recommend it to my couples, um, even though it does wind up being about 50-50, whether or not they, they do it. Yeah, I've talked about this, this shot before. I like to hey, have... Him and focus her blurred behind him, and then the reverse of that. I think it works out really well. You excited? Oh, yeah. Look at me again? Yeah, good. Here again, video and kind of tracking from his face over to hers. Um, and not everything that, that you film is going to, you know, land in the video, but, you know, I right, believe in whenever you're ready, you know, shooting you're more than you need. Um, here, she's left getting left ready to turn him around. Okay. I, his left. I've got the yeah. camera. We're video. I'm videoing right now. I'm videoing this first view. And then, boom, straight over back to the other camera. Start firing away on the photographs. These two were so, so much fun. They, uh, they've been together for like 10 years already um, before they got married. I mean, it was just a beautiful story. I mean, been together, gosh, their whole lives. I mean, so cool. Here again, videoing and then popping back into, you know, grabbing the frames um, of, in photography. So um, just going out and back the whole day. Yeah. 
you want to do this right now? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <clears throat> and now we're getting them. Uh, we're getting them set up. They want to. They wrote vows to each other that they were re going to read privately. Um, and I've done enough of these hybrid coverages now that um, I knew kind of how I wanted to put the video together. So I actually put just uh, this microphone, uh, just the road mic, uh, on top of there, uh, on top of my camera when I videoed this part. Um, and, and when they read their vows and just videoed them um, reading their vows to each other. And you, you'll see in the video that that's kind of I overlaid them reading vows to each other um, with the music, which was cool. Um, so that's all we're doing here is they're getting ready to read their vows to each other and just having a nice quiet moment alone before the wedding gets started. There, you can see the, the mic on the camera that I'm going to be using when they read them. And we're uh, straight into the ceremony. I had some GoPro issues for some reason. Not sure what happened there. Um, otherwise, you'd have seen him coming down and their son coming down. Um, you'll see it in the video. Um, but uh, just technology, GoPros. What a speaker. Um, but, yeah, so I've talked about this before, um, and this goes – um, shooting the photography and the videos, get over on the side, try to catch these really neat moments, like where they look up at each other um, and give each other. I've talked about it. You know, if you stand there, they're going to make eye contact and give you that look. They give each other that look, you know, that nice smile, that, that just I love you look. Um, and so that's what I'm always looking for um, down each side. And I will work. Um, I will work both sides, you know, Throughout the ceremony, I'll be on a side, get a center shot, go to the other side, back to a center shot, or maybe like a angled shot, and then back to the other side, um, and then just kind of work that throughout the ceremony, um, just looking for cool angles, beautiful moments um, throughout the throughout the ceremony to capture for them. Couldn't have asked for better weather. I love creating that dramatic shot like that, especially when we have the good clouds. That's just, yeah, not every photo has to be bright and airy. Yeah, some of them do lend themselves to that that more moody look which I think was really cool here I'm actually setting up I'm shooting on a 16 to 35 but I decided to do a panorama anyway um, just to get that full huge scope of things um, here shooting with the 85 to get in a little bit tighter um, it's not a, a venue that really needs like a 70 to 200 just because it's not so spread out that you need that much reach um, so the 85 works well for me um, so yeah that's what I shoot with on this one it's just the 85 <clears throat> There we are, just again getting some video. I will trust and respect you, laugh and cry with you, and love you faithfully. But yeah, I will say, you know, I. I shoot on the EOS R and the EOS R6. That's the two cameras that I run with. Um, 
and I would give anything for the R. <coughs> excuse me, the R6 to have the same layout as the R for these, because um, the R6 you can't map video to C3, um, which stinks. So you have to actually toggle between video and photography. So typically, what I'll do is set C3 and video are side by side on the toggle on the wheel on the R6. So I'll set C3 to my photo settings and then flip that way it's just one flip out and back um, on that wheel um, I wish it was like the EOS R where as soon as you hit the record button it went right into whatever you'd mapped but unfortunately it doesn't work that way so maybe one day Canon will uh, give us a firmware update <clears throat> here's one of those again I was talking about just getting kind of a angled view down at the ceremony um, shows the depth show you know in a, a unique angle uh, a little bit off from uh, not dead on and not um, straight down the line at them And that's another the photo right there that, that's an important one to try to get um, when they're putting a ring on um, and usually what I will try to do is when I'm doing this hybrid coverage I'll video one of them putting the ring like maybe I'll video him sliding the ring on her finger but then I'll photograph her putting the ring on his finger just to kind of um, uh, have one of each um, but definitely I think it's a cool shot um, that, that moment on the wedding day. Here I'm setting up a HDR shot, actually. You can see me maybe changing the settings there. Um, thought it turned out kind of cool. Uh, it's fun to play with, especially when you have such a dynamic range um, as a place like this. You almost have to do that to get a really well-balanced um, photograph, unless you're setting up lights, um, which I'm not a, a huge fan of. On-camera flash at a ceremony is about as <clears throat> um, fancy as I'm gonna get with lighting. I've tried here before doing a couple off-camera flashes, but I don't know. It just, uh, the juice wasn't worth the squeeze, I guess you could say. Another cool dramatic shot. Turned out really cool. Man, that place. Amazing. And now here, you know, you do enough weddings, you realize, <clears throat> you know when it's coming, um, is that first kiss. So what I've done, the R6 in my left hand, I've set to video, I've zoomed in probably to 24, 35, something like that, and have it on focus track right on them. I'm hand holding that and then photographing off the, the other camera. Um, that way you get the moment both. So you're holding camera here, video, and then shooting um, with your uh other hand uh, which is oh, it's cool uh, take some practice um, and I highly recommend you know if you're wanting to do hybrid coverage before you add it to a package maybe you know uh, just do it at a couple of your weddings maybe smaller weddings couples that you know well um, just don't tell them you're doing it that way they don't expect it um, I, you know, and if it turns out good it's a really cool surprise that they love and if it turns out well you have one to show future couples so that you can add it um, to your uh, to your packages which it, which is really cool um, and, and and it works out well that way huh, her dad was standing there while they kissed how cool so yeah that is uh, kind of a behind the scenes um, of Victoria and Joshua's uh, wedding day um, hope you enjoyed that hope you learned something um, and I'm gonna show you now um, you know the how the uh, highlight film turned out that way it gives you an idea of what one would look like um, especially if you want to get in to do something like that um, so I hope you enjoy it I hope you enjoyed this video uh, kind of try to trim out a lot of the fat of it um, give you just more of a, a highlight of the behind the scenes but um, you know if you have any questions about how to create one of these type highlight films um, let me know I could even break down like an editing of one um, super simple so uh, yeah so 
check out their video. And uh, anyway, I hope you like this video. Again, subscribe to the channel uh, for more behind the scenes and more wedding related videos just like this. And I'll see you in the next one. I know that you waited a long time for this, and so I want you to know that I mean and thought about every word that goes into it. And I once heard something that stuck with me. It's better to not make a vow at all than to make one and not be able to keep it. So with that importance, I vow to you this. First and foremost, I vow to love you forever. I vow to always take care of you and our children and put you guys above myself. I vow to be strong and work hard to provide the life that you deserve. I vow to respect you and listen to you always. I vow to constantly work on myself to be a better man and a better partner. I vow to always make smart decisions and sacrifices that will benefit our family. I vow to rewatch The Office and Harry Potter with you a million times. And I vow to tickle you even when you don't want me to. I vow to always love and laugh, to always love laughing with you because you're my best friend. And I can promise that as our youth fades and our hairs turn gray, I vow to always love you. To fall in love with every version that I meet until my glass runs out of sand. I love you times 114 million, and I can't wait to begin this journey with you. When we first met, I never thought we would be here. Two kids and 10 years later getting married in front of a view that we love with our families, but here we are. I guess love just pops up and tries to take you out of the basketball sometimes. I love what a great dad you are and how you always find time to take care of me too. You make sure that our kids know what love looks like and you make sure you remind us all that you love us even on bad days and even through tough times. I love getting to stick with you through all the moves and opportunities and possibilities. I choose you again and again at the start and finish of every single day, no matter the season, no matter the year. I promise to love you, respect you, support you, and above all else, make sure I'm not yelling at you just because I'm hungry. I love you and I can't wait to start the rest of our forever together.